Hey, welcome back. So you probably just finished Project 1 and also learned what a series and a parallel circuit was. By now, you've probably already constructed both a series and parallel circuit. But in this video, I'm going to be using a series circuit with just one push button. Let's say we wanted to add more LEDs, which is this red item right here. Though, we will still connect it back to one push button. Here, we're now going to make a modification to Project 1, which, of course, is to add more LEDs. Before I begin, I really want you to try it for yourself. Pause the video here to do it yourself, then I'll go over it with you. Did you do it? If so, great job! Now, initially, what I'd like to do is create a separate document to write down what I plan, what I plan to change, so I basically have a skeleton, or like a game plan, of what I want to change. It helps me know how everything should function in the end. Now, in this mod, let's see how it works. Initially, all the LEDs are off. If the push button is pressed, then the LED turns on. If it is not pressed, then LED by default turns off. Now, for this mod, I don't really need a game plan for this mod because it's pretty simple. But for more complex assignments, it'd be really useful to, get, to have a game plan because then you'd know how everything works. Regardless, I'm going to write one anyway for practice. So initially from project 1, we'd have a circuit. So what happens if we add more LEDs? In this case, I'm just going to add one more, and I'm going to call it LED2. Now let's look at the conditions right here. By default, all the LEDs are turned off. Since we only have one push button, if it is pressed, then both LEDs should turn on. So LED2 should also turn on. If the button is not pressed, then LED2 should also turn off because they're connected to the same push button. Now, this is basically the code for, this is basically the gist of how this circuit would work. Now, how would we wire it? Well, let's take, let's go back to the circuit right here and just explain how it works real quick. The positive side is connected to the, to the 5 volt and the negative negative strip is connected to the ground. The push button is connected to the resistor, and once this push button is pressed, it will allow power to go to this red wire. This red wire is then connected to the anode of this LED. If the push button is pressed, the power will go through and turn this LED on. The power will then go back to the ground, which completes the entire circuit. This is how, when you press the button, power would run through the red wire and turn on the LED. This is basically a written version of what I just said. Now, how do we, what would we write if we add another LED? Well, if the first LED is connected by a red wire to turn the LED on, then the second LED should also turn, should also be connected to a red wire. Connected to a red wire. And this is where power would flow through that wire. And if the power does flow through that wire, then LED2 should turn on. Now, as you can see, the LED cathode is also connected to the ground, which is the black wire. So that would also mean that LED2 should also complete the circuit by, be by connecting to the ground using the black wire. So after looking over everything, this is basically the gist of how would we how we would wire the actual circuit. So now if we go back, we're going to add a, a, another LED now, and this would be our second LED. We're going to connect it back here. In our plan, we said that this LED also, the anode of this LED also has to be connected to the push button using a red wire or a power wire. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to connect the power to the anode of this LED. Now, in our game plan, we also, sh uh, we also wrote down that the, gra that the cathode also has to go back to the ground like this first LED. So we're also going to connect a black wire as we previously wrote in our code. And now, this should be complete. 
If we run it and we push the push button, both LEDs should now turn on, just like our game plan proposed. I know that this is a very simple mod, and doing a plan like this was kind of unnecessary. But for more complicated circuits, planning can help you understand how a circuit works and, in the end, what to change. It's especially helpful for coding as well.